people you ever take in the vlog yet when named Jamaica Young Police? He claims someone to take back the country, fight against crime, and expose corruption. The first time I hear is when I expose some police when I used to work monks. After being whistled around them for several years, he get a bright idea. So they are corrupted and I'm going to expose them. So I'm talk up some things, give us some diary entry and go on with himself. But I will never forget that he was a part of that team and that clique because he worked with them. He tell us he shoot people, he go in a fatal and so on and so forth. And remember, police can never ever be pluralized. It's a singular word. You can't say police is. It is the police. But to me, he not a fight crime. He not fight politics. His mission is to expose and spread propaganda and the PMP supporters and party. As some you get it, I don't know. As some interpret it. I don't know if I may want to see it away, but as some interpret it. He go to them and then find out say you're a supporter of the PMP party. But it should not be so. If you go fight against corruption, you have to go right across the board. And you came as if that is what you were about. I think you should change your name to Jamaica Young Labour Rights. You say what you want to say, the police system in Jamaica is corrupt. So why you call yourself Jamaica Young Police? That means you have corruption too. To me, you contradict yourself. You condemn George Pang and find an excuse for Jim Brown. You say a PMP make Jim Brown get wicked. You say it in a post. You say PMP is a criminal organization. But you don't tell me what the show up as it is. You can genuinely see a crime unless it is committed by the PMP. And when you can't find a crime, you run it propaganda. From the day of Bujuband and attend PMP conference, you start to see all type of corruption, all of the man who owns the rich, all of the man family business again. Him involved in a Sebastian murder, him shoot Jeremy and son dog. In beat Lana, in try to kill him one daughter, Abigail, in my coke dealer. You say PMP responsible for more than three quarters of the crime in Jamaica. But I understand it better you know, if you tell me, say, your motive is to discredit the People's National Party. And you talk all these things, I would understand you. But don't come go on like say, you want to discredit corruption and crime in Jamaica. But they know so you come and fight politics with the platform. I just that make me not feel right to myself. And if you come and talk about the labor right, the same way, more than get at the same way. Come and tell you say a politics you come and preach. And pretend say you are trying to take back the country from the criminals. You say Michael Manley have a hand in a Bob Marley shooting. You say Ninja Man responsible for pandit murder. You try your best for this credit, Mark Golden. And a lot of things you're saying is not true. You say Big Stone was deported back to Jamaica, and that is not true. Big Stone came here and overstayed his time, and may have received for that. Ninja Man have nothing to do with planet murder, and the fraternity know that. And because I wanted to look like saying a bias, the German look like you had, the minister, Olivia Babsy Grange. And the reason why you chose her, because PMP rate her. Especially sports and entertainment because she worked. Say so someone like a something about her for try to trick the crowd. Don't talk about Michael Manley Porter because you can't walk in a Michael Manley shoes. Don't do it. You're not even credible to call the minister name in your mouth. To me, you more the bad to the country than good. Because when you start to talk all these things about people, how you expect people around the world to look at us? If you are this good investigator as you portray yourself to be, get the facts and set up the arrest without coming on the media to discredit the country. And our artists and people are living here, who people look up to. You leave Jamaica and discredit your own police officers that you was working around and forgot that you were in that same clique, that same crew. You tell us that you shoot people in a fatal also. It doesn't matter if you shoot the criminal or whoever. You are not God, and we are here talk perfect. You should know all man is innocent until found guilty. And that man that you kill should get a fair chance to go before the court. 
to how you behave, that's the approach you should take. You know why you send out the woman number? Because she's connected to Bujubantan and you don't have to say Bujubantan a PMP because they attend the conference. You can't expose corruption because there's ulterior motives. You have to do it for your art and care it straight across the board. So if a man make up a platform right now and a burn out labor right and I pretend say him a burn out corruption, they go attack him the same way and make him know say it have to go straight across the board. Unless he might identify himself and say, I am a PMP and I am here to burn out labor right. So we can know say that is his motive. Don't be a wolf in sheep clothing. Over here we speak the truth, cause this is stark truth tell it. A long time I watch it man. But I just feel like it says that time for me come out and just say what I say. Because you are say what you are saying. You know? So I say what I say. And my reply is too long to reply on your platform. So this is a reply to you, Jamaica Young Policeman. Change your name to Jamaica Young Labor Rights. You shouldn't give out the lady number because you know she's a PMP, that is why you do it. You should give it out. And they don't want to justify it. Come on. And if anybody don't believe me right now, go over to his platform. Give him the views, give him the likes, and share out him channel. And listen keenly to his content. And tell me if I fight corruption or I fight politics. Sir Reporter used to love your program. I may just start listening to it. Until I realize, say, you are not who I think you are. I make sure I listen for a while and examine your post before I even open my mouth and talk. I never want to talk. But it had nagged me, it had bugged me. And I feel if I never talk, it would not haunt me. Mr. Porter, be careful what you say about people. And be careful what you do in the name of politics. Do not contradict the people with false information, propaganda, and lies. Let them hold on to the issues that they have with whichever party and walk to the polling station and vote for who they want to remain or if they want a change. Do not come with any lies and propaganda. Minerate that. People like, share and subscribe. And remember, the comment section is open. I will be inside there listening, ready to reply. Don't shoot people. Don't shoot. Don't shoot you. That too is mine, is already program with the Michael Manley philosophy. I don't care what your people want to say. People that's big stone on stage who did a skit with Mark Golden, we are cheering on. And everybody do a skit when it's coming on to the election. All this burn porter, so call the man box food dread. I'm to be ashamed of himself. Well, because the skit is for the PMP party. You never know some of the poor tea before him go up on the stage with Mark Golden. The man is not a deportee. The man came to Jamaica, overstay and him green card whilst doing business in Jamaica. And you come up on social media and say the man is a deportee. You have receipt for that, Mr. Big Investigator. He's a deportee and I am still here. I want to make up so much things sometime. Sometimes I don't even know what I want to say. People listen to this right here and tell me what is he saying. I know I don't understand a thing what he must say right here. So listen to this. It's when your man has told us, you know they make up things. Listen to this. Listen good. Because they came to, came to America, they met them, um, you know, up, um, but then, you know, a man have green card, yeah, you go to jail and you come out and you get bail and this, and they feel like it's going to last forever until... We just say a while ago. You don't understand that? And that's how we talk all the time. That is how we talk all the time. And then, and then, and, 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 and manjo. What is he saying? Gosh. The only thing that I can, the only thing that I have seen Mark Golden have been doing since he has become the leader of the PMP LGBTQ plus party. It wasn't the labor rights that brought guns to my community and destroyed, and destroyed the minds of the people. This man, who wants to take back Jamaica, not fighting politics, said out of his mouth, 95% of the crime is done by 
PMP. 95% of his posts is try to discredit the PMP. I can attest to that. As I said, nothing is wrong defending a party, but make it known that is your agenda. Don't come as a detective and you try to expose crime and criminals when you only can see it in one party. I don't care if it's a PMP. Don't come talk about the labor rights. Go put party, go cross the board because that's what you say you're doing. And if you're a labor right, do the same. But if you want to say that you're a GLP and you're going to discredit the PMP, nothing is wrong with that. At least you speak about your agenda. People, you know, believe me? Listen to this. All the person you pick on, check out what party they're aligned to. I'm speak of Bojo and Wayne Wanda, Frankie Sly. I'm talk about being the man. I'm say Bunty is his friend. He comes from a PMP place, but he's more attached to the JLP. I him say so. Christopher Dolloskoak. And I miss say so, I him. And you see why Bunty is his friend. Now when him so car reveal this, he may expect Bunty and B to go at war again and develop a H. He know what he's doing, but just remember, what you are doing is try to discredit the music and the country. And most of all, discredit the PMP party. No me can listen to you because I know your motive. You're a young Jamaican labor rights. Would you believe me? Continue. What watching. is their political affiliation? I can tell you about 95% of them will tell us that they're PMP, LGBTQ plus supporter and activist. Because these are people who do not believe in law and order. We are not saying that the, the labor rights don't commit crime, you know. Just remember what we say, 95% because the majority of the people them who commit crimes are normally PMP, LGBTQ+, supporters and activists. You know, so you miss the mark though about IRFM. IRFM a big PMP, LGBTQ+, station, you know. Yeah, because Muta Baroka, yeah. And I say, you forget to say Muta Baroka promote the LGBTQ+, um, agenda down there and, and the woman named Andrea Williams all she appear PMP things and them just step on them depend on a campaign. So that's why when time PJ uh, Michael Manley came into power in nineteen eighty nine he dismantled everything that Edward Siaga had there that was working for the Jamaican people. These people do not love Jamaican people. Still due to the close association between being between Bounty Killer and Christopher Dudoskoke and Bounty Killer's brother Bali, they opted not to execute their deadly plan. So they wanted to you know, be between Bounty Killer, uh, between um, Bujabantan and Beaniman, they were planning to kill Bounty Killer. But because of Christopher Dudoskoke and Bounty Killer brother Bali, they opted not to execute their deadly plan. Bounty Killer never got to Zeke's dance. He came to our dance because him say we are, we are friends and him know me before Zeke's them, you understand? And him say nah, this because me and him are, me and him are friend. You understand? We don't have nothing bad to say about Bounty. Bounty. We can't say that we never hear this man involving and killing anybody or involving and um, conspire for killing anyone. We tell you that. Uh, you know, somebody right there, they say, boy, it's because he borrow a phone to on a PA. Yeah, that apartheid became a dog, you understand? You can't borrow big bar police money. $400 of them time, about more than, yeah, that about, uh, about um, a couple of US well that, you understand what I'm saying? A man borrow money and I give back the money. Four, enough money that them time when he borrow my money. And they all fought and I give him back my money, you understand? All dog. I'm not curious, I'm not being a man and a friend, I never tell him thanks yet. They must glad to say Zeke's their person because if Zeke's never their person, they could not take over the PMP criminal organization from Dr. Peter no, Phillips. But I couldn't even tell you about from, from, from the get go, even though Bounty Killer come from a PNP affiliated, he was more closer to Doros than them. Yeah, man, do, yeah, man, him closer to uh, the Kyle Labour, <coughs> them love him, them love Bounty Killer. Them you say, understand? Them say him a real youth and them thing there. Uh -huh. So you know, so Shaggy but, did buy a whole heap bike, whole heap bike for them in the nineties. Not really, no, well, me never know of that. Yeah, man, uh, you know, Aziz produced um um Aziz was Shaggy original producer. His brother was named um uh, assistant commissioner of police. We get deputy commissioner of police named Bailey. Them say him used to take care of Aziz, you know, man, big ranking police. No, not Fitz Bailey. 
One next one, I remember him name, you know, one black one, he used to do a federation and them things. The man, they are more PMP, the man, they are more PMP than Michael Manley. You're watching Talk Show Telly. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk Show Tune. Talk Show. Talk Show people. Talk Show. Check the comment section. It wasn't the labor rights that brought guns to my community and destroyed and destroyed the minds of the people.